Hey, happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day from all of us at the Siegel Center. Today we have a very special treat for you. Whether you're a mom or not, we're going to give you the opportunity to feel good about yourself right now and have fun. And it doesn't require you to diet or exercise or even get out of your pajamas because we're going to do our makeup together. Now, I would have never have considered doing this before. And some of you may be thinking, you know, what does makeup have to do with the Siegel Center? Well, there are a few reasons. The obvious one, of course, is when we play a character, your hair and makeup, it's the final touch after our rehearsal process that puts you into your character. And on a practical level, under the lights, we disappear without it. But as theater performers, it's not just the roles or the songs or the choreo that live on in our memories. It's the times in the dressing room, it's putting on your makeup, it's the preparation, it's the warm up, and above all, it's the friendships that you make along the way. And today, we're very lucky because we're going into the mythic dressing room. Uh, undoubtedly, our greatest hit of the season that we had, a feel-good musical on epic proportions. And today, uh, Jessica Gallant, who played Aphrodite in Mythic, will lead us through a makeup session. And joining us as well will be Heather McGuigan, who played Demeter. And since it's Mother's Day, my mom, Paula Baker, will also be joining us. And of course, you. So welcome to our dressing room, where the only character today is you. Take the time. You're worth it. Welcome. Welcome, Jessica, Heather, and my mom, Paula, to the stream. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Let's get all of these incredible women in. Wearing our mythic shirts! <laughs> Hi! Happy Mother's Day, everybody! Happy Mother's, Happy Mother's Day, Day to all you beautiful mothers! You're darn legends! Everyone <laughs> Oh, oh hi! Missed you! Oh my gosh! Oh, I want to see you all glend up, Aran. I want to see it. Yes, he better be doing his makeup. Robin yeah. better be doing this with us. She's an inspiration too. Yes! Oh my okay. gosh! So, so, so Jessica, <laughs> Jessica, because we're gonna. Why? Can you just give us um, a little bit of why you're doing this, like your background as a makeup artist? Yeah, so I'm mainly a performer, but you have a lot of downtime in between contracts. So I kind of wanted to find something that I could do that I enjoyed, loved, that's artistic. Um, and that could be like kind of my side hustle in between shows. So I, oh. Robin, yay. So I um, took a course on makeup artistry and I've just completely fallen in love with it. And I also had the best time doing Mythic. So this is just the greatest little reunion. I miss you guys so much. Hey, yeah. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Yeah. So um, I've been doing makeup for a while. I do it for like bridal, um, headshot sessions, private, I've been doing private makeup lessons on Zoom and, and on these platforms. Um, but today we're just kind of gonna do a, a look for the moms. Yay! And and I like I don't want anyone to be intimidated because we have the talent around us right now. This is for everybody. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and you may not know, I just I do want to say because my mom's on online that she had a career for many years on TV. Oh my gosh, amazing. Mom, do you want to share? Give us the one minute summary. <laughs> sure. I was on four shopping channels live all over the world for 18 years. Oh so I'm actually gosh. used to being on live TV and most of those networks, I had to do my own makeup. Well, at wow. QVC, they did my makeup. In Japan, they did my makeup. But in Canada, you know it's Canada, I did my own makeup in my own room. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my gosh, so cool. What it, what it's like and, the and cool now, thing. And daughter, Sophie, who uh, dances in competitive dance, I help her do her makeup. Although she's old enough now, she likes to do it herself. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Okay, but this is this is gonna be. Um, uh oh. Oh, there we go. 
um, ja Mel, Mel, who's behind the scenes. I wonder, do you want to put up a photo of our our goal today? Like, what's Ooh. what are we aiming for? What are we? Aiming oh for? yes, I want to look oh, like that. So yeah, so it's basically just like a nice, um, natural glam springtime look that everyone can do with whatever they have in their makeup bag. You don't need a bunch of expensive products and expensive brushes. Just kind of use whatever you have in your bag. Yeah. So let's let's get started. Okay, let's do it. So first just grab whatever foundation you have in your bag. I actually mix a couple foundations together um, because my skin tone changes throughout the year. So I'm gonna grab this one. I'm just gonna pump it into my hand. And when you're glamming up, you don't need to be afraid to kind of use a lot of foundation. Like I used to not use a lot at all. But if you really want like a flawless finish, then just don't be afraid to apply quite a bit of foundation. So I'm using a beauty blender. Um, and this is sort of a sponge that you can use just all over your face for foundation. You can use it for concealer. You can use it for literally anything. Um, sure, Jessica, what are we putting on first? A uh, foundation. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you have primer and you want to do that first, you can do that. But we're kind of just going to stick to the basics of what people okay. already have in their bag. Um, uh, so, Jess, yes, do you have a recommended like skincare prep? Like, what's your go-to skincare prep before before foundation? I there's sort of a clicking sound that I'm hearing. Um, I love skincare. It's like my favorite thing in the world as of recently. The number one thing that I've been making sure to do is apply sunscreen. Like that's the absolute number one. Um, but that comes after all, like my, I use them. Um, I cleanse with a gentle cleanser. Um, and then I'll use a toner, a serum, and then an oil and then a moisturizer. Um, and then I apply my SPF. So that's our foundation, just kind of blend it in all over. And then after, if you need to add a little bit more where you might have some like problem areas, then you can do that. If you just have a brush, this is also a foundation brush, this flat guy right here. You can use it the same as a beauty blender, just tapping it in or buffing it in just like this. So once you have all your foundation on, we're gonna go on to concealer. Okay. So let's grab your concealer. What's this clicking noise that we're hearing? Yeah, I'm hearing a clicking noise, a typing noise. Yeah. I don't, oh, it stopped. <laughs> Wait. Wait, no, it's still going. No. It's Ooh. so weird. I know. I like, like, someone is like in our video. Karen's a. What is happening? What's happening? Oh, hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carrie. Happy Mother's Day. I oh, it's Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Happy can Mother's Day to you. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. So okay. we're going to go in with our concealer. <laughs> that noise is so weird. It's a clicking. <laughs> okay, so I just used the It Cosmetics by My Under Eyes a liquid concealer um and you don't need to use a whole bunch but if you do want to like glam up today you can use quite a bit of concealer to brighten the under eye and you can do it in a triangle shape here i also like to put concealer right in the middle of the forehead to brighten the face down the nose right here on what's called your cupid's bow like those little two little mountains and just a little bit on the chin so let's go in and do that and I just, this doesn't need to be fancy. Like, I literally just, like, slap it on. And I mean, with all the moms, you're so busy, so you can just slap it on. And I use my beauty blender, but, again, you can use kind of whatever brush you have. Like, if you have a, a little fluffy brush like this, you can use it to blend in your concealer. Um, if you have a flat brush like this, you can also use that to blend in your concealer. But I just personally love these um, sponges because they're so quick and easy. And if you are using one of these sponges, you want to make sure that you get it before you use it. Um, because then it's gonna spread it better and it's not gonna suck up all the products. 
So I'm just blending that into the middle of the forehead, down the nose, right on the cupid's bow, right here above the lip, and kind of blending up on the eye. I love this concealer that they have. It's like really full coverage. Here we go. How is your guys' coming? Are you guys doing okay? Yeah, we're doing okay. We were Mel made one of us away just to keep that clicking sound. <laughs> okay. So oh. there's our concealer. Okay, so I'm all blended in. If you guys are ready, we can move on to the next step. Are you guys good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um I I typically use cream products for my bronzer and blush if I'm like super glamming up and then I'll put powder products on top. But for time's sake, I think we're just gonna move on to powder products, which is fine. It's gonna set our makeup, keep it there all day, and really brighten up the face. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is some bronzer. Do you guys have bronzer on you? Bronzer, bronzer. <laughs> yes, love. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bronzer. I like to use quite a bit. Like I love bronzing up the face. So I'm gonna take it. I just dab it here, just so the excess product doesn't kind of get everywhere. Um, you want to go to like the top of your ear and move down in a diagonal line, but you don't want to go too far in because you don't want to give yourself a beard. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it in in the hollows of the teeth. I'm wondering if that sound is coming like is it coming from my computer or what is that? Okay, I think I think it might be my mom. So, you know, mom, <laughs> mom I have an idea, okay? And Why do you think it's me? <laughs> because we because we test we we think it might be you. So, if you if you um leave the video and then come back but when it says put your microphone on, keep it on mute, and let's see if that works. So I should leave completely, and then go back into the link that we sent you, but keep your keep it on mute. Okay. Try. Nice. Okay. So okay, wait. it's okay. gone. Okay, wait. So wait. Oh, I have to catch up. That's okay. It's it's really quick. Like bronzer is super. You don't have to be all fancy with your bronzer. So where I'm going, where I'm going, Lisa, is just the the hollows of my cheeks. I like to take my bronzer up to the temples, just to kind of contour the face a little bit. And I also like to do the forehead, just the the hairline though. This just kind of adds dimension to your face. And you want to blend it in. Blending is your friend. It makes it look so natural. So I like to use like a big fluffy brush to just blend it out. So blend that. Another amazing tip that is gonna make you look like you were on vacation, sun-kissed, dewy, glowy, out in the sun is putting bronzer on your nose. So my fa this is one of my favorite tricks in the world. So just take some of that bronzer, go down the edges of the nose and the tip of the nose right here, and boom, I was just in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> just for the record, I am not like I'm not. Uh, I don't have a ton of makeup in my kit, and yeah. so just taking that, uh, I don't often do like really kind of glamorous people. So I haven't done a ton. But I, when I knew Jess was doing this show, I actually went out and like bought proper makeup, um, partially so, so that she would be my friend, and. <laughs> Um, but oh, yeah. when we found out you were doing mythic, yes, I'm dead. When I found out you were doing it, and I was like, okay, I can't bring in this like jank collection of misfits that I have in my bag. And I was like, she's all, all out. So I, cause we had, we had just done a show together in Hamilton and I had seen what? what she had been putting together. So I like actually like went on Sephora the, for the first time. And like walked into the and like ordered things from the in makeup from the internet and like ordered a whole set, just yeah. just so I could show you when we got to the dressing room. So Heather, what like for both of you, what is the most outrageous stage makeup you've had to do on stage? For 
me, it was probably, it was probably Aphrodite. Like I haven't had to do any like, like Ursula's, you know, or like Alphabas where you have to like do the whole face, like a different color type of thing. Aphrodite, I, you're, I was doing like pop star makeup every single night, like contouring, like creams, really intense, like lid, huge lashes. And I would get to the theater like two hours before because my makeup would take an hour. So like, it was my favorite though. Like that just getting glammed every single night was just the best. So that Aphrodite for me. Okay. And, and um, now that the, before, wait, Heather, I, I want to hear your story too. Oh yeah. I just thought before, because there was so much clicking in the beginning, if you want to recap um, very quickly, your fir the first three steps that we did, the foundation, the concealer, the bronzer, in case uh, the clicking um, <laughs> in the way. <laughs> so what we started with, if you have primer, you can start with some primer. That just helps keep your makeup on your face all day long, covers pores. Um, and then we went in with our foundation. And I like to use a sponge to blend my foundation. You can get these at shoppers, drugstores. Um, this one's from Sephora. They're a little bit more expensive, but you can use the one from Shoppers Drug Mart. Just make sure you wet them before. Um, and then we went in with, with some concealer under the eye, in the middle of the face. Um, and then we just did some bronzer to kind of give us like a tan, sun-kissed look. You look more sun-kissed than me. What, what did I, like, what's happening? Well, so just don't be afraid of the bronzer. Use okay. more product, but um, make sure you blend it out because if you, if that's why I like to kind of tap it off at first, because if you, if you put too much on, it's going to look really harsh. So you kind of want that effect that it's like not even there. It's just kind of like, that's just how your skin looks. You do. It looks like you're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of skin products on my face before this. I was like, okay, we need to look glowy. <laughs> okay. So skincare is like, oh, oh my God, there's yes. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. <laughs> yes. That hairstyle took me five minutes to do because you just slick your hair back and then you pop the ponytail on. So I bought myself a ponytail because I was like, this looks so glamorous, but it takes less than five minutes. I would put my ponytail on at places. Like when they're like, okay, everyone to the stage, I'd be like, ponytail. <laughs> yeah, that's also because you were like running around in a bodysuit doing silly dances. And we were like, Jessica, <laughs> get dressed. Yes. I would just wait till the last second because my hair, like I didn't have to put on a wig now. <laughs> yeah, so great. Okay, so we're going to go in next with some blush. So grab whatever blush you have. Um, I since I'm a makeup artist, I have a I have a palette with like a zillion different colors, but you don't need this. Um, just one color is fine. And I love blush. Like maybe you don't like blush. I oh Julia said hi. Hi, Julia. Um, Julia played Persephone. Love you. Um, she was also in our dressing room. So I don't be afraid of blush, but if when you're applying it, you kind of want to do like this little smile and apply it on the apples of the cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with my blush. I kind, of like, I kind of like to tap it off and then apply it to the apples of my cheeks here. And I kind of like to just tap it in a little circle. Don't bring it too high up into your eye and don't bring it too far down. Um, and I like to also just blend it up into the, this is another tip just to kind of add warmth to your face apply it to the temples, apply it to the forehead. You don't need a whole bunch, but just kind of like, this just warms up your whole entire face and brings the whole look together. So don't forget to do this little, let me see your little Mother's Day smiles, ladies. <laughs> How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Heather? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> He slept so well. We had like four months. There's my oh, little kiddo. That's so sweet. Um, he's, a, he's not quite into painting on paper, um, but on people he loves. So we do a lot of tub painting. Um, and then he likes to take the, when I give him the piece of paper, he'll like smush it on and then pull it off. And then we have like a little imprint um, oh on the fridge. So I but he's not, he's getting up to two now. So he's, um, you know, deciding that 
he wants to be completely independent and go to bed whenever he chooses. So not, he was up a couple times. Oh my gosh. Good. Like, I flush to the nose. You know. Just yeah. Yeah. So Heather, Heather, what, what's the craziest makeup you ever had to do for a role? I have done Shrek twice. Oh. So, um, so there's two, there's two changes to the full green. Um, each time one show I had prosthetics as well. And one show was just the paint. So this was like a full, like to, to the, like to the collarbone line. Green. Um, and then as much like extra contouring and color and a new lip color as possible. Um, so, and then you have to wash it off and then put your feel like regular Fiona face back on and do it again at the end of the show. Really? That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Some them, like some in some shows they use a double, but you you can't always. Um, and then the wow. other one, when I was on the tour of Mary Poppins, their makeup is quite extensive. So you're going from like the chimney sweep to the super cow people, which I had this all white face with these like pink dots. And then I played a doll, so I had to like draw this big crack down below my face and then wash that all off, and then back into the like a park lady for the beginning of the show, then into step in time. So you have to go like very sort of male with all the dirt, then that comes off, then back into the starlight people. So that was like a very oh my a, God. Really busy one oh. for that. Um, but when you, and then I, I understudy Mary, and when you, when you do that, they do it for you, which is a wild thing on the national tour. Oh, that's a dream. Yeah, that was like a pretty crazy thing. One and, last thing you about. They, uh, yeah, and they truly do transform your face. The photos that I have, uh, and I've played Mary a couple of times in different places, but on the national tour when the professionals really did your face, like it was oh. her. It was undoubtedly through and through her. That's what I was worried about. Was, I was green for like weeks afterward oh you take you have like a hot shower you'd go for a run and then and then you'd use a cloth and like it would still be green like two weeks later it was still coming out and what was the meter makeup like that was like that was pretty like that was really nice that was just lovely colors and um that red wig your hair, oh, yeah, really? and so did a lot for you. So that one was like, it was really nice to just sort of put on a really nice face. Uh, yeah, so definitely the green was, was something else. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab some powder. If you have any powder, um, I use. I think that clicking sounds back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, you did okay. Um, I. Uh, use a translucent powder um, just to kind of go and set your makeup so it doesn't move. It kind of gives you a little bit of an airbrushed effect too. This, you can use your um, beauty blender if you do have one, or you can just use a powder brush. So I like to go just kind of under my eye, pat it under the eye. And where, wherever you get oily, this can help too. So I kind of just go down the center of my face, middle of the forehead, right here. And if you don't have powder, like it's not the end of the world, don't worry. And then I'm just like, I'm just gonna take a brush. What's that? You could use your, your the, the same brush that you would use for your bronzer and blush, right? Uh, yeah, just clean it off. Like, I'll literally just clean off my brushes like this on my arm. So my arms will look like not great. Um, but you just don't want that bronzer like under your eye here, like on your chin, because you'll give yourself a goatee. So make sure you just kind of like rub it off. Nothing wrong with a goatee, but. <laughs> okay, so after that powder, this is so fun. We are going to do our eyebrows. So um, there's so many do your eyebrows there's eyebrow gels that are really quick um if you're a mom on the go i would definitely go with an eyebrow gel um i actually just use a, an angled brush a really small angled brush and some eyeshadow there's also um pencils that you can use like there's all this yeah. fancy stuff i got this thing recently it's a maybelline tattoo studio 
Okay, is it like kind of a like cream almost, like, like a, a dip? Cream. It comes with like this little brushy brush, yeah. a little brush on the end. But like, because I don't, I have no eyebrows. But like this stays on super, super well. Oh my god! I mean, I always love a drugstore find. Like, that's thing. Oh, amazing. Okay, those are really good if you don't have like any brows. Like mine are barely existent. They're not, like I don't know, uh, they're not yeah. there. Those pomades are really good. Um, but I, if you just need a quick fix, just use some eyeshadow that you have and an angled brush. You can get these at the drugstore. You can use them, get them anywhere. Um, so what you want to do is just follow your natural lash line. Okay. So what I like to do to keep my brow looking a little bit more natural is start in the middle on the bottom, work your way out with that product, and then take whatever is left on your uh, brush and then line the bottom of the inside of your brow. Because I just don't want a, a big chunky brow right here. It looks nice and natural when it's kind of fluffy here and then gets a little bit more intense. So um, I try to keep all the heavy product away from this like inside of the brow. Um, and then if you want to line the top, you can. And then once you do that, just follow your lash line or your brow line. Then you can just kind of go in and fill it in where there's like sparse areas. It's really, and I feel like this one doesn't need to be super fancy either. It's just kind of like. So I tried it and I have notes for people not to do. Don't do it with a soft brush. <laughs> it has to be like, it has to be what you're using. Yes. Otherwise, it's going to look like you're eyeshadowing your eye. Yes. Um, that actually happened to someone the other day in a Zoom meeting. I was like, okay, now grab an angled brush. And they did grab an angled brush, but it was like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. So that's just, yeah, going to go everywhere. So this yeah. one's nice, <laughs> nice and skinny, and it's dense. So that's just going to place the product really easily where you want it to go. So just follow that, la uh, I keep saying lack of my brow line. And we'll fill that in. And then after this, we're going to move on to our eyes, which I feel like a lot of people are scared of eyeshadow. I was for a long time. It's the eyeliner that I find so challenging. I have a trick for you. Because <laughs> I used to use um, a liquid eyeliner for a long time, but I've actually not used it in recent days because I have another type of thing that I like to use. Okay, so we're at a half an hour now. I can't get over your arm trick. I feel like it's like, you know, the Rachel Ray, she, the garbage bowl. Like you just, you just, you just you, <laughs> so like no Kleenex necessary. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Just your, your arm. Just use your arm. Sometimes if I'm wearing shorts, I'll use my leg. I'll literally <laughs> grab my brush and I'll clean it on my leg. Like it doesn't need to be like fancy or anything. We're just. That's what I love about makeup too. There's no right way to do anything. Like this, you don't have to follow these steps. You can do your eyes first. Like there's there's no right way to do it, which that's another reason I love makeup. Okay, so let's move on to our eyes. So um, I have, actually, why don't I just use, I'm gonna use just a couple eyeshadow palettes that I have, but basically what you want for your eyeshadow is a, uh, a tone that's the same color as like your skin tone, um, a medium shade to go into the crease, and then you can have a darker shade if you want to go on the outer corner, and you can also do a shimmery um, color on the lid. But I'm gonna show you another trick today. Um, we're gonna use our bronzer in our, in our crease, and it like changes the game. It changed the game for me. Like it's such a good trick. You will never wanna use a medium eyeshadow again, because your bronzer matches everything on your face. So let's go in with a light shade. You can just use your finger for this. Um, we're gonna go in with a light shade. Um, I'm just doing one that's kind of the color of my skin tone, but whatever um, matches your skin tone, go in with that. And I, again, I'm just like kind of sloppily putting it over my eye um, up to the brow bone and going to the other eye and just like sweeping it across doesn't need to be fancy once again this this kind of just creates a base for our shadow 
So my uh, my daughter just popped in the room. She she wouldn't go. She wouldn't of course come say hi. But <laughs> Emma, Grandma, she got a real kick of seeing you online. <laughs> oh, sweet! Oh, so sweet. <laughs> okay, so once you do that, oh, they're, my, they're, my they're so sweet. <laughs> So once you um, kind of put that base color on your eye, I'm just going to grab a kind of fluffy crease brush. Um, if you don't have a brush to do your eyeshadow, feel free to just kind of like grab a little bit with your finger. If you have a shimmery shade, you can just put it on your eyelid and that will just kind of open up your eyes. Um, or if you want to do like a smoky eye and you don't have a brush, just grab some bronzer and sweep it gently across your lid. Um, and it'll add a little bit of definition. But for us, we I have a, uh, I have a brush. So I'm going to go into my bronzer. Oh don't my be God, bronzer, come don't, back out. Don't be afraid, fill nice. up that brush. Okay. Oh, Heather, yes. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day indeed. <laughs> So tap off the excess. I about it right off the bat. I just remembered it was here. You don't want it to fall onto your face. So I'm just going to go in to the outer edge of the eye here and kind of circle the product around and then bring it into the eye with what we call a windshield wiper motion. And so this is just creating a little bit of definition in the eye and it doesn't need to be a heavy hand. You can just do it really lightly and you can bring it all the way out like this too. This is just blending. So it's going to make it look really natural and flawless. You make it look very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's looking like pretty harsh, just grab, if you have a fluffy brush like this that's not dense at all, you can just blend it in like this and it'll kind of make it disappear a little bit if it looks too harsh. So don't be afraid. We're just kind of gonna, I'm gonna kind of boogie through this step just since we don't wanna spend too much time on it for time's sake. So I'm just gonna go into the crease Cher, here. Why don't you, why don't ladies share with us uh, something from the mythic dressing room? <laughs> that that uh, since we didn't, we weren't there with you, and we all wish we could be. Well, <laughs> we're all wannabes. <laughs> it was the best dressing room ever because there were just such good vibes. Yeah, yeah, such lovely people, such good vibes, and we had so much fun. Um, if Julia is on here, she should also write her favorite dressing room memory. But we <laughs> we were talking about earlier, Heather had a tendency of accidentally walking in on me in the bathroom. <laughs> but I don't know, would I not lock it? Was there not a lock on the door? I don't know, I, don't, I, think, I think it's just like when like, you just go in there and close, like, close the door. Cause it was all in there. Like it was kind of a big room. And then like you go around the corner and you go in and you know, I get talking as I do and not paying attention. And so I would just push the door open. And I don't know how many people, I, I did it to Ked Lynn as well. I remember that, and she wasn't even in our dressing room. It was like one of the rare moments that she was in our room, and I still walked in on her. <laughs> oh, so I did that several times. Um, um, what's another thing that we did? Well, we like we played a lot of music in our room. Everyone like yeah, like different people had different playlists for days, and so um. It's a very high energy show, especially for the ensemble. Oh my gosh, they did not come off stage. So we all needed to like really get pumped up for it. Yeah. So we would all kind of take turns to um, make a little playlist, which was so fun and just dance. We would dance in the dressing room all the time. There'd be big old, yeah, big old dance parties. What else? Um, oh, you used my toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of things involve me doing really embarrassing <laughs> things. Which is it's just funny me. because you literally yeah. came up and you were like talking to me, like brushing your teeth. I like uh, that's, I think that's mine. I think that's my toothbrush you have in your mouth currently. Like it's in your mouth. 
Oh my God. Can you believe we're talking about this? Like think about what we're going through in quarantine. I know, right? And I'm just like taking people's toothbrushes willy nilly. Um, It's still like, I I mean, and who cares, right? Like in those moments, you're like, who cares? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Wouldn't even think we were laughing hysterically about it. Like, ah, ah, oh my God, so funny. Um, just going to interject really quickly, yeah, yeah, just so we can kind of continue the makeup look, and then we'll get back to that. Um, I'm grabbing a highlighter. So so far, I've barely used my eyeshadow palette. Like, you don't need a bunch of shades. We've used our bronzer in the crease, and I'm going to grab this. Is if you have a shimmery shade in your eyeshadow palette, go ahead and use that. But I'm going to use my um, highlighter, which I use on my face. So I'm just going to go in with my finger, put it on my finger. You don't need a brush. And I'm going to tap it on my lid. And I start in the center. And you don't bring it too far up, but I start in the center and just kind of sweep it across the lid. This is a great thing if you're in a rush, got to go make breakfast or something, just sweep it right across. And then it be like makes that nice shimmery look. And I also bring it into the corner of my eye just to kind of open up the eyes a little bit. And it it adds a little bit of a glamorous look, which is nice. So just with your finger, just kind of like press it into the corner of your eye. Don't be afraid of using that product too. And that's your eyeshadow essentially. I do like to go in afterwards and add a little bit more bronzer just to, I kind of look at it and I'm like, oh, I could use a little bit more like on the outer V of the eye and then bring it into the crease. Yeah. One of the thing, one of the things I loved about our dressing room while Jess is working, what? because it's one of the most exciting things as a performer is to go and live in another city. And I mean, like Montreal is amazing. It's extraordinary. Oh. And so, you know, because we had people who lived there, um, either people as kids who lived there, people you know, who had come back and were with their families. Um, and then some of our gals, hi, Debbie. Um, Friends. Um, you know, so so to come in um, and all of us sort of have different, we have different interests and different tastes. So to come in and go like, I found this place today and I wandered around this neighborhood today and, and, uh-huh. and you know, I you know, was up in the woods and we were down finding vintage things and we were finding amazing restaurants. Like it was just so fun yeah. to learn and explore um, a really, really amazing city, um, and to learn things from each other uh, as we went along. So that's that's one of my favorite parts about about performances and also dressing rooms is just hearing about people's because you live a whole day before you get to a show. Oh my gosh, you have so much time, and Montreal is the most amazing city to explore. Like, there's endless things to see. Like, it's the street art alone. I'm like. Can we do more of this in Toronto, please? Like, open yeah. the city up. Oh, it's so beautiful. So that was something that was that was really that I really enjoyed talking about. Um, so special. Yeah. While you're thinking of that, um, I'm taking also that shimmery shade, the highlight, just below my eyebrow on the brow bone. This kind of just adds like a little nice shimmer when the sun hits. Um, under your brow. Um, And I'm also going to start going in with a little tiny, this is the eyeliner trick. If you have a liquid eyeliner and that's what you usually use, grab that, feel free, because not not everybody has a tiny little brush like this. This is an angled brush. Um, Or you can use that same one that I used on my eyebrows, just it's a little bit bigger. Um, So I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna use eyeshadow to create um, an eyeliner. So it's, you just kind of like, you can make your own products. You don't need to spend $40 at Sephora on an eyeliner. Um, so I'm going to go in actually just wait, my palette's over here. I'm going to go in with like a, a dark Brown. I love that we're all wearing our mythic shirts. (laughs) I'm very happy. (laughs) You know how, you know how some people have like floss guilt if they don't floss enough. I feel like I have like, I don't wash my makeup brushes enough guilt. Like how, oh. like, 
Are you, do, do, is it really necessary to wash them after every single, every single time you do your makeup? Listen, <laughs> listen, I, if I am doing a client, like it, it's an absolute must. I brush, I, I, I wash them after every single use. Cause that would be disgusting. But my personal brushes, I don't wash them every day. I don't wash them after every use. I wash them probably like once a week. Um, just because I don't want all that like old product kind of like clogging my pores and, and making my skin all nasty. So, but what I use to clean my brushes, I'm actually just taking that, um, angled brush and, and following like where my eyebrow ends and kind of making just a little wing. Just how, come, how come you're only using one hand? Don't you need your other hand to do something to like pull skin or... <laughs> yeah, so that has to be I'm just holding my Gorgeous lifted eyes. Those are that's there's no kids there. <laughs> no, she doesn't need the she doesn't need the bonus hand yet. <laughs> I mean, I am, am I really gonna copy you now one-handed? <laughs> yeah, you can you can totally like I would hold here and just barely pull because you don't want to be like pulling your skin like crazy, but just barely. But I just kind of like, I have hooded eyes, so I just kind of need to make sure oh, that I'm looking straight. Too much, and too much, emergency. Too much? Get a clean brush and blend it out. Clean brush, blend it out. A clean brush will save your life. If you get mascara on your lid, let it dry, and then grab a clean brush and wipe it away because that it it gets it. It there's nothing else you need to do. You don't need to grab a makeup wipe or anything. A clean brush will save your life. So I'm oh, just here's a fun. Sorry, I'm just like providing yeah. tips. Well. Here's a fun backstage mythic tidbit. We had a support animal backstage. Yeah. Oh my god. So one of our actors, Jacob Sheffield, was training his new dog, and um, the Seal Center was just amazing enough. This doesn't happen everywhere. Um, but you know, everyone was comfortable. And so we had, we had Jackson who was just the sweetest, sweetest dog backstage with us and was kind of asleep, like under the table, which is kind of, um, there was like a common area between the dressing rooms, but Jackson was just like there yeah. just out during the show. And that was just such a joy, um, to have him there. And also to, to know that, you know, people need, support animals in every business and in every workplace and that it's totally possible um, to have them there um, so that everyone's so helpful for everyone. Like it, it made me so happy to come to work. And like when I'd come off stage, like instead of just being by myself backstage while everybody else is on stage, seeing Jackson and just like hanging out, it was just so nice to have that. We, really, we really have awesome. a lot of animals backstage mm -hmm. the, 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 the show that we um the show that was running when we that we had to cancel was the times there are changing and louise and joe had a dog yeah the king of the castle i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> um i don't remember his name oh my gosh uh, <laughs> but but no yeah we 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 love having animals around rico rico uh, I think I want to train my puppy to like be a service dog. She is so sweet. I'm so, I'm so happy. I got a dog like perfect timing too. Um, Both you and Mel just got a dog. Oh yeah. Mel. So nice. Um, I'm actually going to go in now with a, you can use the brush that you used in your crease here with the bronzer. You can use that same brush to go under your eye, but I'm just gonna grab a smaller one. It's just a little bit more precise. I'm gonna dip into my bronzer here, tap it off so it doesn't all fall down. And I'm just gonna follow my bottom lash line. Just to with, blend. What, with, the with the bronzer, yeah. Okay. And wait, I have one more question. The the yeah. eyeliner, the eyeshadow eyeliner, yeah. do, you, do you go all the way to the corner of your eye? How um. Far it depends. Sometimes if, so basically it's called tight lining. If I, I wouldn't bring it up onto your lid, if you're going to do that, if you're going to go all the way in, stay as close as you possibly can 
to your lash and then it will define your eye a little bit more but i just kind of start in the middle right where my pupil is and and work straight out yeah so that one it does take a little practice but with eyeshadow what's nice instead of the liquid liner is you can blend it and if, if you mess up you can just blend it out or just add a little bit of more like shimmery eyeshadow on top of it and it disappears so that's the beauty of using eyeshadow for liner. So I'm just going under my eye with bronzer and okay. just kind of warming it up. This is gonna make your eyes pop a little bit. And after this, we're going to grab our mascara and do some mascara. I would have never done this before, put bronzer under my eye. Really? <laughs> it's a nice trick when you do eyeshadow just to kind of like bring the whole like thing together i like to i oh the bronzer i just love the bronzer i'm even going to put a little bit more in the crease i just love bronzer as eyeshadow it has changed my life it's changed my life okay so i'm, I'm gonna curl my lashes just because my lash curler's sitting here you don't need to do this but mine's just sitting here so i'm gonna go in and do it just like sorry, sorry mom that you can't talk oh there's a question oh there's a question for you guys Wait, did Jessica end up telling us what she uses to clean her brushes? I was going to mention that. I actually go to Shoppers Drug Mart when uh, I, I have a big thing, so I don't have to go to Shoppers Drug Mart now. But um, I use the Johnson Baby Oil. It's the yellow bottle. Super cheap. And you might have it lying around. Happy Mother's Day. Um, and it washes your brushes amazingly um i really kind of like twirl them around in my hand and then i have a little tool that kind of gets right into them to clean and then i i am um, i just want to kind of grab one to show you i'll take the water and like fully get it out like this and then i'll set it on the edge of the counter so it can kind of like drip off and not like just suck it back up you know yeah so it's it's nice and I just kind of put on some Netflix when I'm when I'm cleaning my brushes. Just kind of makes the time go by faster because it does take a while. It does take a while. I can't find it. So I'm just looking for my mascara right now. Where'd you go, mascara? Where'd you go? What's oh, everyone here. watching right now? What are your what are, what's your Netflix show? Ellen said my eyes have never popped so much. Woo! Yes, <laughs> Ellen. I love that. Um I'm watching, Luke and I are watching Dead to Me right now, this second season. Have you guys seen that? No. Mm -mm. Not yet. Dead to Me, it's so good. It's Christina Applegate. Is that her name? I think. Yeah. Have you guys seen Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist? No, is it good? It's the musical one, right? Yes. It's been like, I was explaining to my kids the other day because it's storytelling with songs. Like it's taking these pop songs and the lyrics matter. It's part of the story. And I'm like, I was oh. telling them this is musical theater. It's so good. I, I, I was avoiding watching it because I knew how much I would love it. Oh my gosh. And I watched it um, and I don't regret it, but I did have a little bit of achiness for missing this, but uh, oh. it's, it's so good. Um, also, yeah. there's a new show called Never Have I Ever, which is starring a girl from Mississauga, and it's so good. It's Mindy Kaling, so it's, like, super funny. It's great. I'm watching that right now, too. Sorry, Heather, I cut you off. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, like, with, with like, the, the, like, with, like, a musical show, I've had, I've had trouble. There's so many plays and things to watch online. I've, I, I haven't watched any of them. I'm I'm finding when I turn it on, I get like it really hurts yeah. to watch them. I'm finding that I'm like almost pulling away from so many theatrical things, even though there's so much extraordinary work happening. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually finding it really hard because yeah. it's just so heartbreaking. It means so much, and like, and, and I yeah that I'm I'm like I find myself um. I'm just, I find myself re-watching a lot of things mm -hmm. that I know what's going to happen. Oh, thanks, Rachel. Yeah. Um, that's one of the yeah, agents, hi, Rachel. Rachel Dean. Hi, Rachel. Um, hi, Rachel. Um, I'm re-watching a lot of stuff that I know because it's familiar and I know what's going to happen. So, like, 
Um, well, we finished the Last Kingdom, which like Uhtred, son of Uhtred. Can I get a Can I get a hey ho? Um, um, uh, I I started Gilmore Girls again for like the twelfth yes. time. Never watched yeah. Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive no, no, no. me. It's, it's not anything, but there's lots of seasons that's wonderful. They're just, they're comforting and I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And it, it brings me some sense of security at the end of the night when I enjoy it. Yeah. But I, 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 I really wish I could see so much more theater, but every time I've watched a little bit or watched people singing or watched groups, it, it just, I, I'm finding it very hard. Yeah, I know. I, that's why, like, everyone was telling me to watch this, and I was like, I can't do it because I know what it's going to do. <sighs> oh, gosh. I actually find it It kind of had – also, little tip, do a couple layers of mascara, and that's going to make your lashes, like, boom. But I've actually been finding weirdly the opposite. I – I, I feel like it's so easy in this industry sometimes to get uninspired because it's so like taxing, like when you hear no so many times. And I have been falling in love with theater all over again, which which has been Aww. the best thing ever. Just like listening to soundtracks. Like I was watching Wicked videos again yesterday and just like singing at the top of my lungs every day because like I'm not in a show right now and like I can just sing 24 seven and like, I've been falling in love with theater like all over again, which has been pretty awesome. But I totally get what you guys are saying. It just like I, I'm really missing it. I'm I miss being on stage. Yeah, but so aren't there's something I think you're in something today. I hope you're gonna keep oh. this up. Yeah. So um, I'm actually in the uh, Songbird series concert, Mother's Day concert at two p.m. Um, it's a really, really lovely initiative. So, um, they're basically having people nominate someone to receive a song, um, that's like special to them or a song that they love if they're like kind of lonely in this time and, and need a little bit of extra love. So yeah, I, I've been singing a lot of like maritime songs, funnily enough, a lot of like, you guys are looking great, by the way. I just like glanced at you guys and was like, oh, ladies. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, it's been really nice, like just a lovely initiative to like show like the power of music, like music brings people together. Uh, it's just, it's so lovely. So that's at 2 PM today. And I think there's some other, um, mythic performers in it, right? Is it, I know James is doing something. Doing something. Oh, yeah, I think so. James is in it. Um, who else? Oh, no, I take a look but i yeah james is in it 100 percent um 2 p.m that'll be so great so um yes we have like we'll have this like behind the scenes know it you know that you did your makeup with us this morning ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome okay so i we're like almost done so we did our eyes with bronzer and highlighter so you don't need anything fancy there um, we've done our face. We are going to add a little bit of highlight to like finish off the look, but I'm going to move on to my lips. If you don't have lip liner, don't worry about it. But personally, lip liner is one of my favorite things in the world. I just love the way it like makes your lips pop and, and just brings the whole look together. So I'm just going to follow my natural lip line. Um, it's a huge trend right now to overline your lips. I don't really like to overline. I, I, I might do it a little bit with my bottom lip, but if you want to overline, just make sure that on the edge of your- It's a very 90s thing, the overline. I remember it. It's actually a huge, the 90s are really coming back in makeup trends right now. Like I just got this product that's like majorly monochromatic and like all, all like everything on nude sticks right now that's their brand is is 90s inspired it's really it's amazing to see all this stuff come back it's really cool so i'm just gonna go in with that lip liner really quickly because some people might not have it but uh i'm just gonna kind of slap it on here and then i'm going to grab a nice pinky lipstick i really like i really like pink lipsticks um this one is from the drugstore. It's L'Oreal and it's, uh, oh, it's an exclusive collection. It's called Julianne's Nude. So it's Julianne Hoff. 
It's based off of her like nude lip color. So it's nice and pinky and it's really hydrating. So I'm just gonna grab that lipstick. So grab whatever lipstick you have. I'm just gonna finish lining my lips here really quick because it's my favorite thing in the world to do. I love lip liner. Um, and I'm gonna, don't be afraid to slap on the lipstick. If you're doing a glam look, don't be afraid. I used to, I used to put on my lipstick like this, tap, 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 and be done. Now I'm like, oh yeah, let's go in. So I'm gonna slap that lipstick on. I kind of kiss your lips. If, if you find that it's getting on your teeth, just kind of do a little like pop, go like this. And then you'll actually see a bunch of lipstick on your finger. So that's a little trick. I was taught that in the Charlottetown Festival dressing room years and years ago. <laughs> the things we learn. Well, it's actually crazy. All of the like main makeup tricks I've learned have been from dressing rooms. Like that's where I first like really fell in love with it because I didn't know anything and the girls would always teach me. Yeah. I have my, uh, this is, uh, this actually became one of my favorite colors. This is the, this is my Demeter lipstick. Oh my God. I don't have that many. So there's just the one, but, uh, I have, I am one of those people. I own, I really only like to use stains because it, I, I'm just, I'm don't seem to be capable of not getting it all over my face. Um, so I have, uh, this like Maybelline square one. Oh, I don't know the name of it, but it's the one that's square. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy these ones. I don't find them, they're a little drying because it's a stain, but I do find this one is less drying than other kinds. So this is made, the Maybelline square one. Love it. But that's um, the different color. Also for lip liner, the only lip liner I ever use is from the drugstore, it's $9. There's lip liners at Sephora for $40. You do not need to get a $40 lip liner. The NYX lip liner is nine bucks and it is the best. It stays all day, helps your lipstick stay all day. It's the best. And I lip stains are my favorite too. They're the best. Plus if you want to like be kissy, yeah. like, you don't have to worry about it. And yeah. on stage, lip, lip stains are the best because they'll stay the whole show. <laughs> no, I, I say, I don't know if she's still watching, but I remember Julia coming oh. up. Her <laughs> There was a very heavy makeout scene in Mythic and Julia and James would come off stage and I would always laugh. She'd come into the room and like, she'd look like a bit of a clown because her lipstick would be everywhere. <laughs> they really committed. So for it. <laughs> Do share what, what color is the NYX um, uh, lip liner? Yes, so this is it's number eight, sugar glass. So oh, I find this so difficult with makeup products. There's always so much on the label that I'm like, where, where is it? But this one, yeah, if if it usually has a number. So this one is number eight, sugar look, sugar glass. You know, yeah. drugs are the only thing that's open. Yeah. So like, yeah. Maybe yes. when we're done, like maybe when we're done, like write down the names of like the exact products that you use. Yeah. That way, if people liked your colors, they can be like, okay, hey, great, I have a list. And then totally. Okay, so we're just gonna finish it off. Um, this this actually is the lip balm that lip gloss that I would use in Mythic every single night. Aphrodite could not be Aphrodite without this. It's like a super glossy, like shimmery lip gloss. Yeah. Um, so I like to add this at the end, just to kind of like gloss it up. I and do not have this. That's okay. you, don't, you don't need it. It's just to kind of like glam it up a little bit more. And then you can kind of take a look and I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more blush. We should like, you should be able to like buy like when when Mythic does its like monster world tour. Also, there's no plans for a world tour. I'm just saying when when yeah, we do we're, we're just dreaming of a world tour. Like just so we're clear for anyone watching, there's no <laughs> world tour, but but we can do one. So you should be able to like buy buy like buy like Aphrodite's look. Oh my god. Like, all the products and the ponytail in like one big box. Oh my god, I would buy that in two seconds. There's <laughs> like unlimited merch possibilities. With yeah, it really like, is. Just 
Yeah. I'm going to add one more thing. I forgot my highlighter, which is my number one thing in the world. If you want your skin to look like super dewy and glowy, grab your highlighter. You can just get this anywhere. They have it at the drugstore. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to sweep it along the top of my cheekbone. Legitimately, Jess, sometime in mm, January, no. February, I was in the shoppers and this was on the clearance table and it was highlighter and I bought it because of you. Oh, my God. yes, because I constantly, I never shut up about um, highlighter. It's my favorite thing in the world. But um, I bought it and I was like, oh, that's what she does. I'm going to, I'm yes. going to do it. So yes. I'm glad, glad beauty folks, she knows what's up. <laughs> what's that? What's that? No. That's the glam beauty. Yeah, so I put it on the tip of my nose just to kind of give a little like shimmer. Like it, it just makes your skin kind of look glowy. And I put it right between my eyes on my nose. Um, I'll put it on the cupid's bow. This is my favorite place to put it right here. I'll put a little tiny bit on the chin because I don't want it to look like super oily. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the chin and I'll swipe whatever's left on just above my eyebrows. This just oh my makes God. So this is glam, ladies. This just makes your skin look glow, glow, glow. So I'm going to spray mine with some setting spray. If you don't have setting spray, do not worry. This is just going to keep my makeup on all day so I don't have to, like, set it again. Um, and I just kind of, like, spray it everywhere. This feels really good. Setting spray. And that's the look. I feel like I have to take my hair down even though I don't. Yes. <laughs> That is our final. Wow. It feels good. Yeah, you ladies look amazing. Oh my gosh, Paula. Yeah. No. Stunning. <laughs> I I don't want to go without like taking one more little trip down mythic memory lane. I don't know if you have a video or more photos to show, but this like just makes makes me want to like hear places you know right. and, and just be in the audience watching you us too i was standing up on the the top catwalk when the, when that show starts and and we we had a we always used to gather right backstage behind that white curtain um and we used to gather and we had our we had our two claps this was our like yeah has like their little in thing so we always used to have like two claps and uh and whatever feeling we were feeling that day whether it was like two claps and a two claps and a two doche or two <laughs> two claps and a two claps and a dinner break or two claps and heather fell down the stairs again it was like all sorts of different things but we would gather and be like or two claps and a wow which was sort of the main one so we'd all go two claps and a wow Wow. Okay. wow. Let, let's do two claps and a wow, and then Mel's gonna throw it to the video. Yeah. Wow. I wanna mess one of my favorite shows I've ever done. And I just have to say, I've been saying this ever since we left the Siegel Center. Lisa, you are just such a wonderful AD. And the Siegel Center was one of the most amazing theaters to work at. Like, hands down. Yeah. Thank you. And it didn't and like, to have such a great company either. <laughs> oh. want, like, I want to like shout that to the rooftops and then and then I also don't want anyone else to know because I don't want anyone else auditioning because I want all oh, of no. the rooftops. <laughs> well, this is what we have to look forward to. Like yeah. when you look at this, like how can anyone question whether or not we'll be back in the theater 
or whether or not we'll be doing this and be scared about it. Like that's something I saw something yesterday and we've seen a thousand memes and we've seen a thousand things and, and, and all of these articles about when it's coming back or not. And, blah, 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 blah. and I saw something that was amazing that said, um, it said, we're talking about people uh, not coming back to the theater. Like it was an obligation and it was never an obligation. People go because they love it. Yeah. This is not, I may not go back. I may continue with grocery store delivery because I actually don't love going to the store or I may shop for less clothes because I actually don't need as many things as I think. But like, it was never, this was never a have to go to situation. The theater is something that makes people feel alive mm -hmm. and they will go back because it fills your soul. Like, and as I, it's the most uplifting thing that I have read in this whole process that was like, you're right. Yeah. This isn't it's not an errand. It's not a, it's not an obligation. Not a core. No. Not a core. No. It's we, it's, it, it makes us feel good. It's yeah. yeah. Well, ladies, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, mommy. <laughs> Sorry. Happy Mother's Day, you happy beautiful mommies. Sport. Oh, is that oh, just yeah. a day? Shout out to my mom who is a nurse. She's currently working in Nunavut right now. Um, she nurses I are angels on earth. I they're the greatest people. Um, so huge shout out to them. Amazing. Thanks to your mom and all, yeah, all our frontline workers and healthcare workers. Yeah. Oh my and, god. And 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 Jessica, thank you for for making us feel this way and being a good reason to bring us together this morning. Oh. Uh, I I please follow Jessica Gallant. <laughs> I missed the last one. Jessica Gallant Beauty, because these tips, oh my god, I'm so excited <laughs> about the bronzer and this. Yes. You I'm have gonna, it in your I'm bag. I'm going to think of you now forever. Yes. You have it in your makeup bag. That's what I love is that people have stuff that they just don't really know how to use. So you have it. You have it there. So thank you so much for asking me to do this, Lisa. It was so fun. I hope you guys have an amazing Mother's Day. Thank you. And we do. Mel posted it before. But please send us, if you if you feel, feel like it, take a photo of yourself and post it in the comments so we can feel like we're we're even more together. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to watch you at 2 p.m. today. Yes, please do. Okay, happy Thursday, guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you for joining. <laughs>